morning prayer for the Wednesday of Holy Week. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross, and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 102 O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my crying come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. When I call, make haste to answer me, for my days are consumed in smoke, and my bones burn away as in a furnace. My heart is smitten down and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread from the sand of my groaning. My bones cleave fast to my skin. I am become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl that haunts the ruins. I keep watch and am become like a sparrow, solitary upon the housetop. My enemies revile me all the day long, and those who rage at me have sworn together against me. I have eaten ashes for bread, and mingled my drink with weeping, because of your indignation and wrath. For you have taken me up and cast me down. My days fade away like a shadow, and I am withered like grass. But you, O Lord, shall endure for ever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is time to have mercy upon her. Surely the time has come, for your servants love her very stones and feel compassion for her dust. Then shall the nations fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory, when the Lord has built up Zion and shown himself in glory, when he has turned to the prayer of the destitute and has not despised their plea. This shall be written for those that come after. And a people yet unborn shall praise the Lord, for he has looked down from his holy height, from the heavens he left behind the earth, that he might hear the sighings of the prisoner, and set free those condemned to die, that the name of the Lord may be proclaimed in Zion, and his praises in Jerusalem when peoples are gathered together, and kingdoms also to serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength in my journey, and has shortened my days. I pray, O oh my God, do not take me in the midst of my days. Your ears endure throughout all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They shall all wear out like a garment. You change them like clothing, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not fail. The children of your servants shall continue, and their descendants shall be established in your sight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
prophecy of Jeremiah chapter 11, beginning at the 18th verse. It was the Lord who made it known to me, and I knew. Then you showed me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter, and I did not know it was against me that they devised schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will no longer be remembered. But you, O Lord of hosts, who judge righteously, who try the heart and the mind, <clears throat> let me see your retribution upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. Who is this that comes from Edom, coming from Bosra, his garments stained crimson? Who is this in glorious apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I who announce that right has won the day. It is I, says the Lord, for I am mighty to save. Why are your robes all red, O Lord, and your garments like theirs who tread the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone. <clears throat> and from the peoples no one was with me. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High, all that God has done for us in his mercy, by his many acts of love. For God said, Surely they are my people, my children who will not deal falsely. And he became their saviour in all their distress. So God redeemed them by his love and pity. He lifted them up and carried them, through all the days of old. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, beginning at verse 54. Then they seized him and led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. But Peter was following at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the firelight, stared at him and said, This man also was with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A little later, someone else, on seeing him, said, You also are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. Then about an hour later, yet another kept insisting, Surely this man was also with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who were holding Jesus began to mock him and beat him. They also blindfolded him and kept asking him, Prophesy, who is it that struck you? They kept heaping many other insults on him. When day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, gathered together, and they brought him to their council. They said, if you are the Messiah, tell us. He replied, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question you, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, Are you then the Son of God? He said to them, You say that I am. Then they said, what further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves 
from his own lips. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. Let us pray. Have mercy on your people, for whom your Son laid down his life. Continuing our prayers for the Ravensbourne team ministry and today for the parish of the Ascension Blackheath, for Anne Bennett, the team vicar, and in the wider Anglican communion, praying with and for the bishops, priests and people of the Diocese of Barrackpore in the United Church of North India. bring healing and wholeness to people and nations and have pity on all torn apart by division. Look in mercy on all who suffer and hear those who cry out in pain and desolation. Give rest to the departed and bring them with your saints to glory everlasting. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. 
Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mass will be celebrated and live streamed at 10am this morning. You're very welcome to attend. Compline will be live streamed at 9pm this evening.